Hey everybody. Welcome and happy Friday. The weekend is finally here. Um, yeah, so I went to my mailbox today or yesterday, I can't remember which, and I got a surprise. It is this, the Animal Guys Tarot by Bradley Valentine, and it is from Morella. And I um, am so thankful and happy that she did that for me. So, um, yeah, Jackie's actually sleeping, I think. So she had a long week, too. And so um, I'm just letting her sleep through. She'll probably, knowing her, she'll probably um, be jumping into the chat anytime now. And if I could speak, that would be really good. But <laughs> let's see who's here. And Garnet is here. Hi, Garnet. And Bibiani was here. I think she stepped out to eat. She may be back. And there's Morella. Hi, Morella. And thank you again, Morella. So you're, I know the queue is getting lined up already for um, questions. So I need to get my pen out. And I'll be doing questions after the walkthrough um, today, guys. But I'll write down who I've got so far. So far, I've got Morella, I've got Courtney, and I've got Ness. All right. So let me keep going here. we got Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Never been this early to a live. I don't know if she's still here or not. <laughs> that was a while back. And Jen's here. Joyful Journey. Hello there. And Courtney. Hey, Courtney, thank you for your donation. And there's Ness. Thank you for your donation. And Renee's here. Hey, Renee. Hope you're doing okay. I'm doing pretty good. A little tired from the first work week back to work. So, um, it's completed though, so that's a good thing. Um, let's see who is next. Karen. Hey, Karen. Yes, Morella is very generous. They're very sweet to do this for me. I'm still scrolling. Sonia Panola. Hello. Welcome. And the walkthrough is of this deck that I just got from Morella Fiona. It's called the Animal Guides Tarot. So we're going to open it up together. I should have put a, um unboxing instead of a walkthrough because I haven't opened it yet. So it's really an unboxing. Jessica Lynn. Hey there. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm liking the job so far, Renee. It's not bad at all. It's it's not that hard so far, so I think it's going to be okay. Just got to learn everything, get everything down, and then I think it'll be, you know, pretty much the same throughout, which is good. I can do same and easy. Uh oh, <laughs> what are you doing up, Ginger? <laughs> Ginger's here and Jackie's not. That's yeah. It's after ten. What the fade, J uh, Ginger? Glad you're here. Okay, I'll highlight your questions, Ness, but again, we're not going to do them until after the walkthrough, okay? Um, see who is next, if anybody. I'm just scrolling, scrolling. I don't want to miss anybody. Sonia, I got your um, question. But I'm really not taking questions till after the walkthrough. But I've got you started, okay? All right. So, like I said, I went to the mailbox today and got this. And 
think I've already got it. I haven't got it open, so I need to open it very carefully here. Hi, Silent Victory. You're giving away my gummy bears. Yeah, those those that were gonna give me a sugar um, attack, I think, Courtney. <laughs> but thank you, I love them. All right, so here we go. This just came out as well, and if you're familiar with Radley Valentine at all, um, he's done a lot of angel decks um, in the past, and a lot of angel tarot decks that I'd use. If you go to my um, angel lives, you'll see his stuff on there, his angel tarot. And um, I've been wanting this for quite a while. And it just came out March 5th, but it's been on pre-order and it's been on my wish list for months. And um, it, like I said, it just came out on March 5th and now I've got it here just on March 15th. So I am really ecstatic about this. I love anything Radley Valentine does. Um, it says powerful messages from angels and your animal guides. Tune into the magical gifts of the animals and receive divine guidance that transforms your life. The Animal Guides Tarot, Bradley Valentine, brings you gentle messages from the four-legged, finned, and feathered creatures of the earth. The cards are filled with inspiring symbolic imagery, and the guidebook shows you how to give accurate and magical readings. Discover the power messages of, a, of tarot in a positive and loving way, respectful of your spiritual path of joy. Sounds good. Let's get this baby open. May you find wis wisdom, comfort, and joy on your journey with your animal guides. What it says on the inside. It's very nice. Sunny just went past. <laughs> so this is a typical Radley Valentine book, but it's perfect. It's got everything in it. You can go through there and learn tarot. It does follow the rider weight to an extent. So... Um, it's going to be interesting to see what animals he pairs up with the Rider weight um, deck. But, okay, here we go. Oh, Jackie would have liked the sunflower. There's a sunflower on the side. Both sides. All right. No, there's no pictures in the book. You don't need them because everything's on the um, cards. And there's um, words on the cards as well, Garnet. So you really don't even need a guidebook. But he has one explaining you know, the um, cards and how they relate to the right of weight. You'll see what I mean here in a second. Here's the back of them. Looks just like the front. It's interesting. Yeah, he's renamed some of these. All right. So the first one is the dreamer, a shepherd puppy. And like I said, it gives you um, the definition of the rider weight. So this would be of the full, but it... Um, you know, integrates the animal as well. So it says, you are starting a new adventure, run free and take a leap of faith. So this is all the fool. So the dreamer is the fool, is the shepherd puppy. Hey, Teresa. And then we have the magician, beautiful unicorn. And like I said, it, it's just telling you what the magician is down here. There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be success, successful. Bam, that's the rider weight right there for you. And you got the high priestess. This is the one on the back. 
somehow that goes very well with me that makes a lot of sense what is this the emperor is an angora rabbit <laughs> that is a big rodent <laughs> i don't know the rabbits still look like rodents to me in a way i think it's my fear of possums but i i don't know but it's it's fuzzy it might be okay it's kind of cute i guess <laughs> Ginger face is as cute. <laughs> Bunny rabbit, yeah. Oh, we got a mouse. The emperor is a deer mouse. And I'm not going to read all these down below because it just gives you the definition basically of the Rider Waite Smith um, version. So. The five is usually the Hierophant, but in this deck, it is Unity. And it's the Polar Bear. Now, this is cute. Yes, that was a chunky rabbit. Almost scary. It looked almost as like sunny in a way, but a little more rodent-y. Rodent <laughs> if that's a word, even. <laughs> and got the Lover's card. Look at that. Flamingo. The chariot. Snow bears, yes. Justice. Jackie would have loved this too with the elephant. The hermit is a firefly. Okay. Interesting. Got the lantern, and then the firefly is the representation here. Lack of a better work word. Hey, Flower Beauty, how are you? Thanks for coming and saying hello. Hope you have a good um, flight. Be careful. So. The wheel is reindeer or caribou. Of course, the straight card is the lion and the lamb. Hanged man is a giraffe upside down. And then release is a peacock. Look at that. That's really pretty. And that's so funny that Flower Beauty Peacock Rainbow just came in and we got the peacock. Got balance with the zebra. I love that. The balance of the colors, yin and yang. Aw, oh, it's a kitty. Ego is 15. That is, <laughs> oh, wow. That's usually the devil, and they've got Siamese cats. Why do Siamese cats get such bad names? I would love to have one. My dad had a Siamese Persian. It looked just like this, but just with lo loads and loads of hair. It was so sweet. Although Peacock holds importance in my father, father's culture, he was from India. Gotcha. Good night, Teresa. Thanks for coming by. 16 is usually the tower. In here, it is life experience. The, the cu cuckoo? Cuckoo? It's the cuckoo bird. The star is an Oriole, Ooh, one of my favorite birds. The moon is a lynx. And the sun, bluebird. Renewal is raccoons. This is also the judgment card.
And the world is a Shetland sheepdog. Interesting. All right, so the next ones, I'm going to go a little bit faster through the minor ones. Just to show you. But he's um, changed up a little bit of the minors and what their names are. So instead of wands, we got fire, which makes sense. Makes perfect sense. So Ace of Fire. Two of Fire, Pelican. It's a pretty pelican. Three is a turtle. Sea turtle. That's right, Garnet. That's right. Okay, good night, Ginger. Four of Fire is the Otter. Five of Fire is Milo. No, I'm just kidding. It's the Ram. Milo's trying to steal the show in the background. Six of Fire is a rescue dog mixed breed. Oh, I like that. He's the victory card. Here we go. Seven is the Gecko. Eight is the B. You love rescue dogs? Yep. Here's a St. Bernard Corby. Ten of fire. Page is a butterfly. Monarch butterfly. Got a dolphin for the night of fire. That is pretty. I love it. Look at this cat, queen of fire, a Persian cat. Beautiful. I've always wanted a Persian, a white Persian. Here's the Ace of Water or Ace of Cups. Perfectly, they've got a Dove. Oh, look at this, guys. The Two of Cups or Two of Water is Lovebirds. Oh, I really like that. Three of Water, Hummingbirds. Morella loves her Hummingbirds. I think it's Morello that does. Turtle, tur I can't even talk, y'all. I'm serious. Tortoise <laughs> for her of water. And we got the dragonfly. I thought so, Morello. Six of water is the goose. Look, here's more cats. A Maine Coon Kitten. Wow. Wish Miss Moonlight was here. Seven of Water. I think Morella loves to eat chicken, and it's my favorite food too, Courtney. Eight of Water is the Kangaroo. Nine of Water, Pomeranian Dog. I love how they have different breeds of dogs and cats on here. Focus. There we go. Ten of water is the prairie dog. Deer. Frog. This is my... um. Boyfriend, the frog. Queen of water. Just kidding. Queen of water is the swan. Kangaroo, the Aussie. Yes. Penguin.
Ace of Air or Ace of Swords is the Panda Bear. Two is Dodgkin Dogs. Dodgkin? I'm not saying that right. I don't want to call it a weenie dog, but that's what we used to call it. Dosh, Doshkins. I can't say it. A rose-breasted grosbeak. Interesting. I still can't say it, Courtney. I know you're spelling it right. Koala. There you go, um, Courtney. There's an Aussie for you, a koala. Collie dog. Six of air is a rescue cat mixed breed. He looks a little bit like Milo. Who is right there. Whoops, wrong way. Let me get out of the way. Milo. Did I say beer? The magpie. Eight of air is a bunting. Must be a kind of um, little bird there. Sea lion. Tenever is a Siberian Husky. I love these dogs. The, love their eyes. Page of Air, Seagull. Horse, Thoroughbred. Queen of Swords. Look at this. The Leopard. I know. Where's Jackie? King of Air is the Humpback Whale. No Labrador Retriever. Not yet. Let's see. We've got some cats coming up. Ace of Earth, the Calico Cat. Oh, I can't say this one either. The Two of Earth is an Abyssinian Cat. He's very cute. But I can't say that word. Abyssinian, maybe. Miniature Poodle Bog, Free of Earth. Dachshund. Now I've got it. Thank you, Fiona. Dachshund. I can do this. <laughs> Look, everybody, it's a squirrel. Squirrel. Here come the squirrel emojis. I know it. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thanks for being here. Manatee. Six of Earth is a kiwi. Cow. Parrot. Ragdoll cat. Those are so sweet. Uh, well, we don't have a Labrador retriever, but we have a golden retriever. Ten of Earth or Pinnacles. There you go. Um, Courtney. Golden Retriever. That might be as close as we get. A Tabby Cat. Seahorse. Queen of Earth is a Belgian Hare.
And the king of earth is Irish cob horse. The pinnacles are well done. Yeah, and everything looks real, like looks like actual pictures in there. So of the animals, doesn't look like they've been painted or drawn or anything. It just looks like almost like a picture, I should say. All right. So I've got my spirit of the animal oracle deck that I'm going to use as well. And I need to shuffle these up while I get your guys' questions. Um, again, Morella, you'll go first. Courtney will be next. And Ness, if you're still here, you will go after Courtney. I'll go ahead and put the rules up. I think everybody knows them is here. For entertainment purposes only, free readings are done in random order. However, however, donations, super chats, and super stickers, and especially um, PayPal, We'll move you to the front of the line and give you a more detailed reading. Please put your questions in caps and emojis. No political, legal, health, or third-party questions, please. And thank you all for being here. Let's get this party started here. Oh, you another deck is coming on Sunday. Thank you, Courtney. You are too sweet. You guys are the best. Not because you get me stuff, but just love you all. Okay, I got you, Morella. Oh, um, Fiona, I am not great at stuff like that. It, I could try. But I have like zero experience in that. But if that's what you got, that's what you got. I'll try it. Garnet, I got your question. Yeah, it is very nice, Sonia. So Sunday, we'll be doing another walkthrough. Thanks to Courtney. Okay, I got you, Courtney. Okay, Fiona, thank you. What would have been your question? I'll see if I can... Um, Work with it a little bit. Hey, Gene. JR is here. Good to see you. Make sure these are good and shuffled here. Yeah, um, Fiona, Linda, and Viviani do their Akashic readings in Tuesday afternoons, and they do a great job. And there's a bunch of other Akashic readers who are who are on that can answer questions like that as well. Would have been who is was in my past life. Uh, yeah, I would probably want to leave that one for the um, Akashic Records reading. So hang on to that, Fiona. And like Courtney said, you can um, go to Linda and Viviani's um, Tuesday afternoons. Or Linda does a show by herself with her Akashic readings on Thursday nights. Sorry, Fiona. I just don't have the experience in that. And I, I wouldn't want to give you a wrong question or wrong answer, I should say. And I wouldn't do that. I probably just wouldn't have one. <laughs> I 
to shuffle one more time. Make sure you get your questions in with caps and emojis. All right, I think those are shuffled well enough. Sure, Silent Victory, I got you. Okay. Hey, Michelle, just missed the walkthrough. I got a brand new deck today from Morella. Hope you're doing well, you and Jonathan. Having a good day. And no Jackies, they're all tired and worn out. I probably wore her, I wore her out from all the wives, even though she insists on coming. I think she's sleeping through accidentally to this one. So I'm going to let her rest. <laughs> wow. Look at the pinnacles. Yeah, they were shuffled nice, very nicely, so. Hi, Marby. Welcome. Okay, Fiona, I got your other question there. All right, Morella, let me look here for a second because this is really interesting. Just want to check something real quick. I think I need to shuffle a couple more times because you got, yeah, she got all pinnacles. So I've shuffled and shuffled, but I'm going to shuffle some more and we'll see what comes up. They're big cards, so they must not have shuffled very well. But you got four out of five pinnacles, Morella, on the first one. But they were kind of together, so I'm wondering if they just weren't shuffled well enough sorry about that hey teresa welcome New decks can do that, yeah. I don't usually have that problem, but yeah, I looked back in the deck and there were some that were still together. Thank you, Courtney. When is St. Patrick's Day? The 17th? I think it's the 17th so that would be sunday now one more and there's no way they're together anymore Okay, Gene, <laughs> I got your question. Come back a few days later. All right, it's been a few days, hasn't it?
Wow. You still got like really good cards, Marilla. I even like these better than the Pinnacles. You got the sun with the bluebird. If it'll focus there. There we go. It says your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. You'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments you so richly deserve. So your plan's working out well. And then you got the Eight of Fire or Eight of Wands, the B. You've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. We'll, um, while this may feel very stressful, remember to be graceful, grateful for the blessings that you have received. So blessings coming in abundance. You got the Knight of Fire who is passionate, charismatic, confident, and restless. Um, you got the Dolphin. So playtime. And you got the Knight of Air, which is the thoroughbred horse, decisive, focused, driven, and impulsive. So with this impulsive and restless, there's a, a little speed bump here, I think, that just to make sure that you're not too um, impulsive with things. Or if you get restless, that you're changing that energy as quickly as possible to, you know, being content. But then you got the star, the Oriole. And this is all about hope and healing. You're about to take a big, big leap forward with your life. Worry will be replaced with optimism, fear with hope, and joy is coming home to roost. And I'm going to get you two spirit of the animal. These are from the... Spirit of the Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. And you got the Grasshopper, Take a Leap of Faith. And if I can get to it, got the Rhino Spirit, Overcome Any Obstacle. So you can overcome anything and take that leap of faith. And there's a dolphin that's leaping in the air. And lots of birds for you. All right. That's in flying things. I think they're just saying that you're on the right path, um, Marilla. And just keep changing your energy into positivity and staying at a high vibration because you've got this so that's what i'm that's what i'm getting for that all right next is courtney courtney are you still here Yes, you are here. Just taking care of the moderating. Thank you. And Morella is too. Thank you, Morella. How will next week? Is that what it is, Courtney? Is it a week? A week, okay. Thank you. I did read that, Fiona. Thanks for the feedback about that.
Yeah, Ness, you'll be next after Courtney. I'm glad you came back. All right, we've got the two of water or cups, which is the love bird. Or love birds. And this is interesting. It says you're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Marriages or romantic par partnerships in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. The well, love birds. And then you got the peacock with release. This is usually the um, death card, but this is all about transformation, releasing, transition. Then you got the five of water, which is the dragonfly. Focus on the fact that source loves you and um, always has the highest of intentions for you. Dragonfly. And then you got the chariot pushing forward with the horses, the Arabian horses. You can successfully balance various or opposing energies at once through determination and focus. You've earned the rewards and recognition you're receiving. And you got the 10 of air. Look here, you got the Siberian Husky. So this is the same as the um, Ten of Swords, but there's always the sunshine in the background. Like you can see it's daylight out, so there's sunshine there. And new things happening over the horizon. Trust that a brighter future awaits for you. The chariot is like being at work, right? I understand that. All right. Oops. Oopsie. Picture a couple of oracles. You got the armadillo. Set healthy boundaries. And oh, you got my favorite, the panther. Reclaim your power. So I think this will be you at work, reclaiming your power. Nobody's going to mess with the panther. All right, that's kind of what I got. Boundaries at work, right? I love how you read and you, you into them, Courtney, and you can just tell exactly how it applies to your life. So you are gifted. Just to let you know, you are gifted. Okay. Ness, you're next. All right. Cards, messages from my guides, whatever you feel called. Okay. Ness, are you ready? Thank you, Teresa. I agree, Courtney. You're here. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you disappeared on me for a second. All right. Cards, messages from my guide, whatever you feel called. You got the Four of Wands. This is the Happy Home card. The Four of Wands. And then you got the Three of Wands with the Sea Turtle. 
and this is like diving in to your um your dreams you know it's manifesting your dreams and then you got the ram which is the five and these have been shuffled like a million times so <laughs> you got the four of wands the three of wands and the five of wands that's really interesting yeah and I shuffled them up and went from different places in here so hey Pooja welcome all right I know we did a daily card pull but I am at the week view what are the dominant energies for the next seven days? All right. I'm going to pull three for you from this and two from the Animal Oracle. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is about making decisions. Right, the weak view. I gotcha. And then you got the fool or the dreamer, the shepherd puppy. So decisions to make, risk to be taken that can be worth it. And then you got the three of water or three of cups. Hummingbirds. You have an exciting reason to celebrate. Remember to cherish those you love. So this is the celebration card, three of cups. Linda G pulled the three of cups too. Wow. And then the fool leaping, taking a risk. Let me pull two more here for you, just because we can. You got the cat spirit. Claim your independence. And then you got the sandpiper spirit. Be playful. So be independent and be playful. Be yourself. Honor your inner child as well, is what I'm hearing. Yes. Or the washing machine <laughs> breaking down. Okay, Pooja, I got you. Thank you. It may be a few minutes, but I got you. All right, that's what I got for you, Ness. Thank you for being here. Glad you came back. All right, give me just a moment here. And go with Fiona next. Fiona, I see you're here talking, so I'm going to go ahead and get you. You're welcome, Ness. No problem. Thanks for being here. Okay, Fiona. Will I be commercially, commercially viable as a writer? You got the four of pentacles for earth 
And this says to be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing things in black and white terms. So for me, expanding out and just being able to um, hold on, scratch that out one second. Because these are new cars, they're, it's, the messages are coming in really fast. Um, it says, consider, for example, whether you are spending too much time, um, too much versus hoarding your wealth or giving too much emotionally versus building walls that keep people out. So what this has to do with writing is, I think, to make sure that you're expressing yourself and there's no blocks. I feel like there may be some blocks. Let me look at the other cards. Um, you got the page of cups or the page of water. And this is the deer. So gentleness, sensitivity. Yeah, being vulnerable, I think will help you being a, being a great writer, being vulnerable. And that might be a block for you. And then you got the four of water or four of cups, the tortoise. And it says your responsibilities may distract you from noticing all the gifts that you have been blessed with. Be open to investigating opportunities that come your way. So this tells me you just need to look in the right direction and that it can definitely happen. So I think the answer is yes, um, with a but. There's some things that need to change in order for you to be um, successful at this. You needed to just, um, and they're easy to change too. Just get rid of the blocks and, you know, make sure you're looking for every opportunity that that is coming your way and you don't miss any opportunities. And also controlling your emotions would be, um, I think, very good for you as well. So... Yeah, there are blocks. He used to be more vulnerable, but life, you know, made me protect myself more. Yeah, and I, I got that. Yeah, there's a difference between vulnerability and boundaries. There's a difference there. And there's a, there's some similarities as well. But I won't get into that. But let me get you an animal oracle here. You got the lizard. Dream the world into being. Well, that's all about writing. Dream the world into being, being a, if you're especially if you want to be a fiction writer. Are you do you want to be a fiction writer, Fiona? Because I think this is definitely the card for you. Dream the world into being. Ooh, you're a cancer sun and moon. Wow. Yeah, lots of emotions. Yeah, I'm a I'm a um water sign too. Do you want to be a fiction writer? Dream your world into being. That's perfect. All right, that's what I got for you, Fiona. Sonia Ponola is next. Sonia is here. All right. May I get a message for my angels and guides? General. Okay. Let me take a look here. Wow. My cat has the zoomies and just went by me like a crazy madman. You okay? You're going to be okay? <laughs> he went running so fast with the zoomies that he ran right into his scratching post. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Fiona. It's just me reading the cards. So thank you. All right, Sonia. 
you've got the ace of swords new opportunities it says implementation of your brilliant new ideas so new ideas so they make it off to a rocky start but keep going the challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better so a brand new idea then you got the seven of swords this can be a little bit of the trick trickster card um caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables including non-material resources such as time or peace of mind um, be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back so just make sure everybody is who they say they are and that there's no deceit or anything going on and then you got the empress this is the angora rabbit the cat's going mad behind me <laughs> sorry sonia and then you got the angora rabbit so it says time to hop into action use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life so bringing about good things So there you go. Yeah, and um, Morella noticed the thief there with the key. Said, so make sure you um, pay attention to your keys. And it's time to hop into action. Make sure everybody is who they say they are. And go forward with the action with this new idea that's coming in i think it's going to be good for you as long as it doesn't hurt you or anybody else right let me get you an animal oracle you got the ant time to collaborate all right so being with other people working together this is like the three of pentacles in my mind so working with others is going to help you as well. All right, so that's what I got for you, Sonia. I hope that resonated. Thank you. Yeah, Milo's on the alert now. They're, they're taking shifts every um, 1.5 minutes. I am really just here for the cat, says Courtney. Is Garnet still here? Yes, Garnet's here. These cats with the zoomies are killing me. What you doing back there? Huh? Be good. Be good. Oh, there you go. All right. What can I expect this weekend to turn out like? All right, Garnet. I'm glad it resonated, Sonia. Awesome. All right, Garnet, here we go. The Page of Fire. So this is the free spirit, energetic, ongoing, optimistic, and creative. So a new butterfly changes coming into your life. And also creative opportunities. And then you've got the balance card, the zebra. This is the same as temperance. So this is internal emotions. Make sure that they are balanced and having patience as well. says compromised on here as well garnet and then you've got the magician the unicorn look at that so you are special my friend you have all that you need to make magic and i just mean by manifesting or however you want to take that but um there is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. Unicorn.
And then you got the turkey. <laughs> Give with gratitude and grace. Turkey spirit. So being generous and having gratitude for all that you have. And for giving grace to people, for giving them, that's going to be key for you. That's what I'm thinking this weekend, okay? That's what I got for you, Garnet. You worked on a turkey farm. Really? Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Right, is silent beauty here? Silent victory, excuse me. Oh, you changed your question, hold on. Can I please get a read on what my gifts are? Okay, let's see what I can do here. No, no, Sonny. Sonny's getting ready to jump right onto the cars. <laughs> they are hyper. What are your gifts? You got the two of swords, which is the two of air. And this is basically the meditation card. And it's making a decision without having to come to a stalemate okay so it can be the gift of decision making and of intuition silent victory intuition because it's usually um a person standing there with two swords like this and they're crossed and they can't make a decision if you use your intuition and your gut like the high priestess that's a gift Okay, so I would even go as far to say that I believe you're a little bit psychic. I believe everybody is a little bit. You may have a little bit more. So think about using that. Then you got the two of pentacles. This is flexibility and balance. I'm just reading the um, bottom here. See if anything points out that it's about flexibility and balance. Too many responsibilities for one person to manage is important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do. So balance is an important gift. I think that we need to have in our life is seriously um, overlooked and put to the side like everybody says you got to have balance right i say that every time i'm on but i think that it um really is a saying that is a gift in here for you is to make sure that you are balancing your life and that will be magic for you okay and then i've got the nine of swords or nine of air this is the sea lion and the nine of swords is about, you know, being um, anxious and solving that with um, going in, sitting with the fear and changing it to something positive. So I think you have a gift of transformation where you can change your negative feelings into positive feelings. One that's standing out for me the most is psychic. So you heard it here. I think you're psychic. And then you get the porcupine spirit time for beginner mind. Yes. Yeah, so with your mind, you're learning new things. This is saying that you can begin with being psychic. I really think that's what it means. The porcupine. So there you go, Silent Victory. All right. 
Miss Moonlight, hello there. Good to see you. And Ramya, hello. What did you say here? Does someone page someone who is a little bit paycheck? I'm confused. Okay, I got you, Ramya. Hello, Ramya. Now, I have a question, um, Ramya, Ramya. Do you want to love reading or would you love to have a reading? So I don't want to give you a love reading unless that's what you want. Yes, Morella got me the deck, Miss Moonlight. You're welcome, Silent Victory. Oh, Psychic, okay, gotcha. A love reading, okay, I got you, Ramya. Okay, is Jean still here? JR. Yes. All right. So you had a reading a few days ago. The reading said to come back in a few days and ask again, when will I meet the person I will marry? I'm going to give you a couple of cards from the animal deck just to see if anything comes out of that. And then I'm going to pull another cosmic um, timing oracle card for you from the one that we used the other day. This is my only my second tarot deck that's animals. That's all different animals. The other one is the art of Spoonlight. So those, I have a few oracles, but... Not tarot, just two now. Right, so you've got the six of water, which is the six of cups. It says goose. Um, it shows you the, the geese there. If it'll focus here for me. Maybe. There we go. Let me just put that to the side and I'm going to look at the other cards. Ten of Cups. This is a happy ending. This is family right here. And here's family here too. Right? A parent and kids. It can just be reminiscent of a family or a marriage. Then you got the Nine of Fire or Nine of Wands. You got the Gazelle. So this is you being resilient and bouncing back from um, relationships that you've had in the past. So I think it's going to be soon. Let me pull one of these cards here. No, it doesn't have a double kangaroo card. <laughs> there is a Maine Coon Cat card, though, um, Miss Moonlight. I was thinking of you when I pulled it. In February. Let's pull one more. It's up to you. So I, <laughs> I think it's saying that it's up to you if it happens in February or not, okay? And I think that it's definitely possible for you to have that. Um, just think on the bright side. Be optimistic and resilient. Don't give up. And manifest. It's up to you. 
but I'm going to say by February. I like the by February better than in February because it is up to you. So there could be someone right around the corner for you. Manifest, 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 manifest. All right. So that's what I got for you, Jean. I'm going to give you an Oracle card, too, just because you got the owl. You see clearly now. You see clearly now. So you will be able to know when this person shows up. You will know. I don't think there'll be any question or any, like, being friends first. Or just, being friends is good, but I think you'll know right away. All right. That's what I got for you. Pooja, are you still here? Oh, you're welcome, Jean. I'm glad it resonated. And I'm glad you came back for that. Trying to get this one open. There's no um, side opening on it. Yes, Pooja's here. All right, Pooja, one moment. Oh, thank you, Fiona. It's very sweet. You're very sweet. Sip, sip. Yes, please. All right, Pooja, this is for you. Got the Three of Swords, the Rose Breasted Grosbeak. Interesting card. I'm going to just read this to you. It says, sadness is a part of life, but you don't have to endure it alone. You may need a little time to heal, but once you work your way through the motions, you'll be stronger than before. So it's all about healing and being stronger than you were before by healing and learning from the past. So don't let anything get you down. If it does, transform it okay and then you got the knight of pinnacles the ragdoll cat i love that the um knight of pinnacles is about like having a spa day um being successful financial security um and just about really good things so i think if you um turn this around to healing then the cat's going to win out here and you're going to have beautiful things. Just have like a spa day, right? Do things for yourself. That make you happy. Like just have a day. And then you got the six of swords. This is going from one place to the other. The rescue cat. It says the challenging times are coming to an end. And you can now breathe a sigh of relief. Let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead. And you can see the cats going from being kind of a, a loner or a um, barrel cat to going to a home. So I really like that. And then I'm going to get you an Oracle card. Ooh, you got the dolphin spirit. Play. This and that are true. So having a little play, this is perfect for the Nine of Pentacles as well. This, this is having a day for yourself, and this is playing. Moving forward and getting rid of the negative emotions that you may have and just looking forward to brighter days because they're coming brighter things are coming for you so it's going to get better puja that's what i got for you yeah dolphin is um one of my 
um, totem animals. So I love dolphins. <laughs> Miss Moonlight has to rescue cats. Yes. These two crazies in the background are rescues. Courtney has a rescue Labrador and an Aussie. <laughs> you rescued the Aussie too, didn't you, uh, Courtney? <laughs> You're welcome, Pooja. Thank you for being here. And is uh, Ramya, Ramya here? Yes. Okay. I'll try to do a love reading with these. We'll see what comes out. Ace of Water. This is the Ace of Cups. Overflowing love. So I think love is coming into your life. And this is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. Right. It may be the first blush of romantic love, the rebirth of a current relationship, or the awakening of spiritual sights and insights. I think it's the rebirth of a current relationship or the first blush of a romantic love, a new relationship. I think it's new. But I'm not sure if you're in a relationship or not, or if you're single, what the case may be. It's either new love or that love just getting stronger. If you already have it. And then you got the three of pinnacles. And this would be other people coming in. And this is um, friendship. So I'm thinking that you may have even co-workers that might be um in the pool of being one of the person being one of the people that you um have a chance with i think we have one, more than one soulmate so um i think that there's a chance there could be one or two where you work if you do work if not then in your activities that you do outside of the home okay so one or two options i think is coming for you and then you have the four of air which is the four of swords the koala bear and he's sleeping because it's rest time so don't be stressed out about this situation that you don't have love instead um have love for yourself I didn't mean that you don't have love at all. Have love for yourself, self-love, self-nurturing, and make sure that you're just taking care of yourself. Having a hot bubble bath, you know, would probably do wonders for you. And I think that um, by doing that, you're going to be more alert when someone comes in and be able to... Um, share the love that you have for yourself with other people okay and ramya let me get you an animal oracle card you got the koi fish there is always enough there's always enough fish in the sea right there's always another fish in the sea so don't feel like that it's it's um, impossible for you to find someone. It is definitely possible for you to find someone. You're totally depressed from an ex. Well, get some rest and take care of yourself and um, focus on you because you deserve it. You deserve to take care of yourself and, and to um, get yourself out of that moment and make the depression into peace if you can. And sometimes we just have to grieve. Grief has no time limit. So whatever it takes for you to, to get over it, if it's grieving, then it's grieving. That's okay. Grief has no time limit. Okay. So just know that there are more fish in the sea. Okay. All right, let's see where we're at. I think that is it.
I'm not sure what's going on in chat. I haven't looked for a little while. Oh, you have an ex. Um, don't want him back again. Heard me a lot. Currently, I have a new crush on someone else. Gotcha. That could be the um, new love coming in, but I think you're going to have a choice between more than one person. Courtney was bitten by a German shepherd. Ooh. I am right here. That is where I am at. Oh, about two weeks ago? Oh, wow. I didn't know that, Courtney. I'm sorry. Hope you're all right. You're welcome, Ramya. Thank you for your feedback. Okay. Everybody's asking Courtney about the the bite here. You didn't say anything, Courtney. I hope you're okay. I'm gonna start. I don't wanna leave the chat on when we're talking here about that, but I'm going to leave it on for a minute and you guys can talk and I'll talk with you while I put my cards away here. And very, very important. It's okay. I am fine. I was putting out the recycling bins and said hi to my neighbors and his daughter's dog. Oh, okay. Hey, Scorpio mama. So very, very important. Tomorrow at one o'clock, I have a um, live with Sun Psychic Gene. And then at four o'clock, guess who's going to be here on my channel? Michelle from Astrological Tarot is going to be here. So that'll be at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you can come to both of those, that'd be wonderful. But um, if you've not seen Michelle, she is awesome. And I can't wait to do another collaboration with her. So make sure you subscribe to her channel and you um, come and see us tomorrow at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. <laughs> That's funny, Jonathan. Oh, we have another question here. Okay, let me um hold on one second. I have to reshuffle my cards, Denise. I'm gonna go ahead and close the questions out, but I'll get you, Denise. And Ness, okay. Questions are now closed unless there's a super chat or super sticker or PayPal. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Yes, me too, Michelle. I'm excited. Been excited all week. All right. Let's see. We got Denise and then Ness. I got that Midnight Moon deck. I don't know which one that is. Thank you, Ness. Get you here in just a second. Can I please ask what is the negative feeling I have at work? Been teaching special ed 
for 26 years. Oh, wow. Well, bless you for doing that, Denise. Just feel like I need to leave. You're scared. Ness, you just gave Sonia a free membership for Tuesday. Awesome. Thank you. Um, the super chat and super stickers are down where the, it has the um, money symbol, the dollar sign, and you just click on that and you can send a super sticker or super chat and it'll show up in the uh, on the side here. But I've got you. You got four that come that came out, um, Denise, so I'm going to honor that. The first time you got the judgment card. So this can be, what is your life purpose? Is this something that you're doing now or is it something else? So it may be a wake up call to either have a new life purpose or if this is the purpose that um, you are doing right now and you just need to renew it. Okay, so renewal, renewal. And then you got the King of Cups that came in with this. The, pen, the penguin, and it says a trustworthy person. Um, you may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from their heart. So this is shifting me in the direction of someone else helping you out and just giving you the information that you need to um, go forward with your life purpose or with what you're doing or start something new. So maybe even talking to someone at work that you can trust. Who is that supervisor or that, that mentor that you can trust and talk to? Seek that out. If they're not at work, find one somewhere else. So they could even be on YouTube and you watch a YouTube video and just get restored, right? That's happened to me. Then you got the page of earth. This is the page of pinnacles. This is the learner, so the learner with all the books around and also manifestation. So manifest what you want and manifest those negative feelings away into positive feelings. Ask Archangel Metatron to help you with that and he will. Okay. And then you got the eight of earth. This is the eight of pinnacles. So this is about your hard work paying off. Okay. Hard work paying off and being able to go forward and get um, rewards and recognition. So this is almost the end of a journey. So I don't know if um, I'm not going to give you retirement advice, Denise, but having done, um, you know, special ed for that long, um, maybe it is time to look for something else, but make sure that you're, it's not because you're scared, never leave because of fear. Instead, just keep going and be resilient and have that bounce back. And I really think that, um, you can learn by getting help from other people and from just renewing your life. So thank you. Maybe even in a new spiritual awakening, you can have more than one. And then I got you the Buffalo, the abundant universe will provide. There you go. So never feel scared knowing that spirit is there for you and has an abundance of things to provide for you okay denise that's what i got for you i really hope that helps and um thank you for sharing that with me really appreciate that all right i want to say hi to willow hey willow good to see you Glad you're here. And I think we have one more question. Is Ness?
going to ask one more question. All right, give me one moment here. Three card rider weight. We'll be in contact very soon. Thank you, beautiful husbands. Oh, thank you, Denise. You're very welcome. I got you, Ness. Yeah, you did get it under the wire. I got you. How do I attract more material abundance in my life? Manifestation. I know I say that a lot, but that is such a key to us in our spiritual lives. It's such a key. So that's what I've got from the three cards. So I'll show you what I got. Three of Wands. This is making your plans happen. So manifestation, your ship's coming in. And then you got the hermit. So seeking that inner um, meditation and I don't see meditation as work. I just see it as part of spiritual practice that can make you happy. So um, yeah, that's what I got for the hermit. Go inside, reflect. Yep. And then look here. How about the nine of pentacles again? So the Nine of Pentacles is all about that spa day, taking care of yourself. So if you want to attract more material abundance in your life, then live like you have it, manifest it. This is the spa day card. Yeah. Yeah, tuning in, right. Material abundance is energy. Yes, absolutely. Michelle said, great cards. Ness, if you're looking to manifest Lakshmi, um, can't say that right, Lakshmi, mantras followed by a meditation may be especially beneficial for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I got your work, your light cards. One moment. There they are. Came out. That one definitely. Oh, that one wanted to come out too. Okay, I got your two work your light your light cards. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Is what it says. So don't dim to fit in. And then you got the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. So basically, you you got this. You got this. Is what this is saying. Don't dim to fit in is just being yourself. Being yourself and attracting light. And you can do that by manifesting, <laughs> which I know I say all the time to you. Manifest, manifest. 
So that's what I got for you. Hey, Ramon. Welcome. Glad you're here. All right. So I think that is all. Um, I have, again, uh, two lives tomorrow. Um, at 1 o'clock is going to be Sun Psychic Gene on my channel. And at 4 o'clock, the wonderful Michelle from the Astrological Tarot will be with me at 4 o'clock. Right. So thank you, Ness, for um, giving the the um, giving another uh, membership out. Looks like CB Anderson got it. They'll be very happy. Yes. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm going to say good night and I will see most of you tomorrow. I hope everybody has a wonderful night and a good morning and I'll see you at one o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Thank you, Willow. That's some um, sunny back there. <laughs> hey, Travis, welcome. <laughs> All right, you guys, you have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.